So let's create the cl uh, class. And API service. So we are creating an instance of our API and we need to provide a private init so no one can initialize our API outside of the class, only we use the shared. So this will be our singleton. And let's create a func called this uh, fetch total data. All right, and I can paste the code that I copied previously into the function here. So before we continue, let's uh, clean up a little bit, even though the code uh, itself would work straight away. But since we want to reuse some of the parts, we don't want to in include all this information in every function we are going to call. And we will have three functions here, one to call the total, uh, one for the province, uh, for the regions, and one for the data for it. Um, so I'm going to take these headers out and this will be part of our uh, class here. And let's say private. Okay, so now our headers are accessible throughout our class and not only inside our uh, function here. Then we have the request here which holds the URL. And as you can see, this URL goes to the API plus reports and total. What we want to have is some base URL, and then we are going to, depending what we are going to search for, it's totals, the provinces, or the data itself, we are going to amend whatever is required for our URL. So the base URL is this part here. So I'm going to copy that. And let's create a another uh, private let base URL string equals, and we just paste it here. So this will be our base URL. And depending on every uh, function that we are going to include, we are going to amend it. So let me uh, change the request here that we have copied. And uh, before we can do it, actually, we need to get the URL for our uh, totals here. So I will say, let uh, total URL string equals, and we take our base URL and plus we add whatever is needed. So in our case is this part here. So I will copy that and add it here. So this will be our base URL, or you can uh, you can get it from the website here. So whatever is after the, you, you have to include the forward slash as well. So we have our uh, total URL, uh, the request, let's just push everything down. Uh, we are going to modify most of the code here inside. So we have our URL, uh, which is right now it's a string. So we need to create a URL from it. So we say let URL equals and we initialize a URL from a string and we pass our total URL string. And then we need to check if our URL exists. So we say card let URL equals URL else and if our URL doesn't work we are going to show some error. So um, our function is not going to take any parameters but uh, we are going to uh, have a callback and because we are doing a request to our server it takes some time to get the data back. So we will have a callback once the data is uh, ready it will give us our total data report. So uh, I'm going to pass a completion, completion block here, uh, so it escaping. And what we are going to return is a result. And our result is going to contain two elements, the total data, 
which right now we don't have and an error and uh, here we just say it doesn't return anything so say void okay so this total data is the type of object we want to convert our API so let's create that command n new Swift file I'm going to call this total data all right and then we can create a struct call it total data and it should confirm to codable and right now our error should go away if I build because we already have a total data but since we are here let's quickly write what our total data should be so we will have uh, let's jump again to our uh, result here if you can see the data in order to decode it uh, using the codable protocol we need to uh, provide all the information so our top level is a some object that has a data as a key and then the value is another object here which is going to be our total data so if I get back to my uh, struct here we are going to have two structs actually uh, you can have a struct called total data object which uh, again confirms to codable and this is going to be our top part all right so it's it will have only one parameter which is data now we will say uh, let data and it's of type total data all right because our total data is going to be whatever is inside so we're going to take the parameters here and create a total data so for our total data we need uh, now to choose which parameters we want to decode so what we want to use so I'll say let confirmed and this is an int you can check what we are getting from the API here you can see the date is string confirmed is an integer the deaths integer fatality rate is a floating point so it's a double okay so we say let deaths a very uh, important point I want to make is that these keys we are using as a variable name have to be exactly the same as they are here otherwise it's not going to decode automatically if you want to use your own uh, variable names here that are different from uh, the keys that are inside JSON we need to manually state that which uh, keys are uh, manually state the keys that for example confirmed is going to be whatever is inside the API but uh, since here we have uh, we're using only four uh, variables and all four of them are straightforward there is no reason to create our own private keys here so we say uh, test active int and uh, it's actually better to copy paste them if you don't want to make typos so the finally is let uh, fatality rate and this is going to be double okay so this will be our main struct that we're going to work with and total data object is just helping us decode from the top level into the parts there so let's get back to our API service and here we can continue uh, writing our request so here we are checking uh, if we have successfully converted the string that we have provided into URL and if no we are going to call our completion handler and we are going to pass uh, failure and we need to pass the error so um, what I'm going to do is to create some custom errors for us so command n to create a new swift file and I'm going to call this custom error and here we just have we'll have an enum covid error which confirms to error protocol and here we will have a case in 
correct URL and no data received. All right, so our COVID error that confirms to error protocol will have these two cases. So we're going to use that. So here, now we can provide one of the cases that we had. It's going to be uh, dot incorrect URL. All right, so if we don't have a URL, we cannot decode it, uh, convert it to a URL we need to say it's a COVID error here. So we are going to uh, call our completion and exit our function because we don't want to continue any further. If however we do get a URL then we can create a request with that URL. So I'm get, going to create a request. var request is equals and then we will say it's going to be a URL request with a URL cache policy and timeout. It's similar to what we copied, but this is using NS mutable URL request, which comes from old objective C times. So I'm going to pass here my URL. I will just leave this for our uh, uh, just to see what's going on. The cache policy we are going to use as it was done. Uh, use protocol cache policy and the timeout, let's set it as well 10 seconds what we had. So now we don't need this request anymore. But uh, what underneath is the request HTTP head. Uh, the method is the get because we're going to get and the header uh, fields is uh, this our header fields that we have removed and put to be accessible outside is automatically passed here. Okay, so let's move down and let's put some spaces here. We have a session, so it's a URL session shared. We are creating a session and then uh, we are going to go through and create a data task. So our data task is equals to session data task with the request that we have created as a URL request. This part we can remove because our request is already a URL request. It was here because we had this NS mutable URL request. Completion handler. Um, so basically what happens is once we uh, request something for our uh, URL session to go and uh, get it for us, it uh, receives a data, a response and an error. So three parameters. So first we are going to check if there is an error. I like to keep this clean without these parentheses since they are not required. So in case if there was an error, what we want to do is we want to call our callback and pass our error. So I can copy this and paste it here. And we just say, uh, in this case, we would like, you can pass an uh, no data here no data received, or you can even pass the error itself to uh, provide more information. So um, this in case if it's a failure. Now, if there are no errors, it means uh, that we have received some kind of data. So this is what happens in our else request. So once we receive the data, we obviously want to convert it to a total data object so that we can return it total data here actually not we are not going to return the object itself we'll just return one total data so let's um, we have two options here actually first to print uh, we, to see what actually data if any data we are getting so I'm going to say if let JSON equals try JSON serialization. Let's create a JSON object with and the data here is going to be our data. 
and we can unwrap this because we know that it's not nil and there should be a data and the options I'm going to just put an empty array here I just want to specify that this is as it's going to be string as a key and any as value because this is a string value parameters so let's say uh, print and we are going to pass our JSON here all right so we have all the information and this part data task resume don't forget if you didn't copy don't forget to call this otherwise your uh, URL request will never start so if we call this function now and everything goes well we should print whatever we have received so how to call it let's go to our content view and here we have only the text so I can say here on appear and then we can um, actually call our uh, API service dot shared is our singleton and then we have only one function it says fetch total data just hit enter on it and result will be our variable name I'm not going to do anything here because uh, the most important part right now we are interested in is this line here to print our JSON so if uh, right now I run my application on the Xcode simulator we are going to get some printout hopefully in our console and you will see what we receive here so this is our data as a JSON and we are getting uh, the top level data and then this is inside the nested part with all the information we receive so we are uh, certain now that we are receiving data and we can print it out so let's uh, just comment this out because this is only for test purposes now we need to convert this into a total data object so let's uh, create a JSON decoder equals JSON decoder and we are going to decode whatever we received the data we have actually into a total data object to do that uh, because it may throw an error we need to put it into catch block so in two we are going to say let total data object is equals and we are going to say try to and use our decoder to decode from and you can see that it says throws so it may throw an error but we are prepared that's why we put it in do and catch block so what we want to convert it to is a total data object not a total data but total data object dot self the reason we don't convert it into total data is because the total data is the part here but we have this data key here that includes our total data inside that's why we have this struct here so what we are going to do is convert to total data object that will receive a total data but as a return type we are going to return only the total data not the object so once um, from data obviously we need to state data here and once this is successful I'm going to say completion and this time we can say success and it expects that we are going to return a total data as we have promised here on the where is it here result it's gonna success is going to be total data or an error so if we are calling the success it's going to be our so we pass our total data object dot data so this will be returned uh, in case if we have an error uh, let's call this let error the, uh, variable name I will call my completion uh, pass failure and let's pass our error here all right so if uh, going back to our content view here I would uh, have to use a switch statement and we will use our result and just wait a second it will give you an error so we don't have to type a lot let Xcode do it for us so our switch uh, has a case of success and failure 
So in case it's successful, uh, I want to print. And let's say uh, we have to pass a variable here. We will say total data. So if it was successful, we will get a total data. You can call whatever your variable here you want. This is just for purposes anyway. So I will say total data dot um, confirmed. Let's see how many cases there are. Uh, for failure, let's say let error. And I will say print, not print, print error localized description. So let's run again. 